All right, so now we're going to look at doing some spatial um, data analysis. So looking at spatial patterns in the image as opposed to like spectral enhancements, right? So there's a couple different ways to do this. What we're going to look at specifically are the raster functions because there's just a lot of options built in there. Okay, so I'm going to open up my full image extent here again. Um, I'm just going to change the band combinations Oop. to click on the right image. Let's just swap this out to one of these guys. There we go. All right, so let's say we wanted to do some um, spatial filtering on this input image. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go to the Analysis tab and then Raster Functions. Pull up the Raster Function window. And we're going to specifically look for a tool called Convolution. Okay, so you basically have to give this thing an input image and then tell it what you want it to calculate. So there's a bunch of built-in ones here. We have uh, line detection, horizontal, vertical, left, right, diagonal, gradients, um, smoothing operations, sobel filters, sharpening, um, and then user define, which means you can actually build your own um, kernel here. So you could change the size of the kernel and then um, you know change the values in it. So it's actually really flexible. Um, so this is probably the best way to do these convolutional um, spatial filtering type analyses in ARC. So for now, let's just pick one of the user-defined ones. I'm just going to run a smoothing. Let's do smoothing 5 by 5. So you can see here, basically, you rate, weight the center one 12. And then you have um, different weights applied to the surrounding cells based on like its Distance. So all the neighbors are four, and then we have one when we go out to five. Um, so let's hit this and see what happens. Okay, so that that applied a, a, a smoothing filter to it. Um, I think you should do it for all the bands. Let's just swap it out for this. There we go. So you can kind of see how that looks a lot blurrier. So it's kind of Again, smooth that out a bit. Let's do one that's kind of the opposite. Let's do a, a sharpen. So we'll do sharpen. And you can see the matrix for sharpening it there. Or, or the kernel. Hit image there. And then we'll hit create new layer. And we should get back something that tries to sharpen the edges a bit. Which kind of looks like it is. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Swap that out. So sharpening edges, blurring, right? So again, there's lots of other options. Just for the heck of it, let's just run one that's like custom. So we're going to change this to user defined. We'll do a, let's just do a three by three. So let's make the center cell weighted at nine, and then the surrounding cells will weight at negative one. So, so what this should do, well, we'll just wait and see what it looks like, and then we'll describe it. So let's make this eight. Okay, and again, we want to do this from our. Uh, we want to do this from our image, and okay, let's see what this does. Yeah, okay, so that's a, that's basically like an edge detector, right? So it's looking at differences from between the image or the, the center cell and its neighboring cells. 
Cool. All right, so anyway, that's an example of how you could do convolution operations, spatial filtering type operations on images using the raster functions in ArcGIS Pro.